But the really, really worrying thing about what Baker said today, and every single parent in, in Ireland should really hear this, Judge Baker intonated that family rights, a parent's right over their child and a child's right to a parent are a subset, a subset of property rights in the Constitution. What the judge has said is that a building now has more rights in law than a sovereign Irish citizen. And if the British Army come in and take that over on behalf of a Belgian bank, which is run by an ex-NATO general, yeah, if that's the Ireland we're living in now, then that judge in there has done something very, very, very strange with Irish law. I didn't have affidavits, I wasn't an eyewitness to it. Some people have video footage of that on their phones and I'm appealing for them to get in touch with me, anybody that has that footage where the security were using uh, force, an unreasonable force. If I can get that, or if I had had it today, I would have been successful because the judge says um, that I had no evidence and, uh, and I had to accept that, I had no evidence. So I want to say that Judge Baker, as always, is a very fair judge. I've always liked um, arguing legal points with her because I do find her um, a very fair judge. So, you know, um, so we were unsuccessful because of those issues. But if the, if the Gordon fa or the Smith family get in touch quickly, all is not lost. An application can be brought for a stay and an application can be brought to the High Court seeking a declaration that the county register didn't have jurisdiction in those circumstances. And then that would win the day, really. Today we saw um, in the High Court uh, the Gordon Smith case, an uh, interlocutory injunction. Um, compelling him to vacate the house by next Friday. Um, basically Gordon didn't turn up so he didn't help his own position um, and all of the evidence that was put before the court went unchallenged and um, basically there's now a ruling um, that requires him to vacate the house by next Friday and if he doesn't they'll come back and they will move for further orders either to compel him to go to jail or whatever. So it's really a backward step what's happened there today, um, but it just proves that the courts are continuing on uh, regardless, irrespective of all the overcharging and everything else that we know KBC have been up to, they can still walk into the courts and have the full vigours of the law behind them. And uh, until somebody at a senior level in Leinster House or whatever takes note of the plight of the people, um, Gordon Smith's situation, uh, he lost his job, um, he didn't deal with it as he should have dealt with it, but then he's, people aren't equipped to actually deal with these sort of issues, they're not lawyers, they don't understand the system, so the Gordon Smith is, is just one of 30, 40, 50, 60,000 that we're going to see. Today for me was the same old, same old, same old, old in the High Court, court uh, judges protecting the banks that all pass, uh, regardless of what Penny Gilroy brought up about the validity of the Sheriff. Um, mortgage in possession has to be in, in common law. Um, Rasta Fenning did everything in his powers to distract away by using the different affidavits from the mercenaries from the North uh, to cloud up the facts of the matter. Um, where KBC um, incorporated when they issued their case, uh, no um, default appearance uh, was in case in circuit court and the register did give an order. Um, so then in the order was voided in the case. Um, so they got around that. Um, and the most difficult thing for me is that they put these are for court and they put that IK ahead of the family and then the family unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, in this country, it's just happening every day, every week. week. Um, we no longer have any rights. rights. Um, they'll be taken away uh, by the judges and the banks every single day, every week. week. And yet, yet there's no criminality for the, the, the doors of the banks or the judges in any other better.
they were looking to have them out within four to five days. Uh, I said, Judge, look, in circumstances where it's Paddy's weekend, and even if they were, like, I don't represent the family, but I said, even if we're, if they were of the mind to leave the house, uh, there would be difficult getting, um, you know, removal trucks and whatever they need to do, and to seek uh, some other accommodation. I don't know if they have other accommodation. And in those circumstances, you know, where that is a difficulty, she said that she would extend the time, even though the barrister fought hard with it, about even giving that time. So it was successful with that. And But they have till 11 o'clock Friday week um, before some application has to be made, or I'm afraid it's not going to look good. Thank you.